Tuesday, July 16th. Okay, so we do have the moon in Scorpio energy pretty much all day. We do have the moon going void, of course, at 9, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're locking into Sagittarius energy at 9, 26 p.m., so a very short window of time that the moon will be void, which, of course, works in our favor because when the moon is void, things are shaky, things are uncertain, things are unstable. And of course, with all of the energies popping off here as of late, we need as much stability as we can possibly get. There are 11 different aspects taking place here today. All 11 involve the moon, which means that this is a moon day. Now, Tuesdays are ruled over by Mars. Mars, of course, the god of war, ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desires, even our anger. We are still very much within orb of the Mars and Uranus conjunction, which we will be for the next little bit. A lot of reverberation of anger, of frustration, of liberation, of want, need, and desire to make great changes just rippling throughout the cosmos at this particular point in time. And of course, with the moon in Scorpio, while we are in cancer season, that's a lot of water. That's a lot of feeling. That's a lot of emotion. That is a lot of cleansing and purifying and purging, which means that we have to feel it in order to actually heal it. Okay, so we kick off the day with the moon in Scorpio energy, making a positive interaction with Pluto. Pluto rules over the Scorpio energy that the moon is currently in. Pluto being the great transformer himself, retrograde in this Aquarius energy, we are kind of moving within ourselves. We're examining the power struggle. We're examining the conflict currently taking place, not only within us, but within our physical realm. And we're really searching for ways to do better, to be better, to improve. Now, this is a positive interaction, which means that there's likely going to be an aha moment. There's going to be an epiphany where we're feeling more empowered, more in control than ever. Now, it may be just short lived. However, we can feel the change, the transformation taking place within our inner realm. We have a different perspective, a different mindset, and we're feeling a little bit differently about situations that have popped off in the most recent of days. We're starting to see things through the detective lens that Scorpio energy offers us. We are definitely focused on where it is that we can kick the negativity, kick the frustration to the curb and really boss ourselves up. Now the moon is going to go ahead and try beautiful interaction with Saturn, the Lord of Karma ruling over roles, responsibilities, systems, structures, foundations, willpower, and discipline. Saturn is retrograde in Pisces energy. This trine means that we are working with like elements, water on water action. What we love about water on water is that it is very cleansing. It is very purifying, lightening the load, if you will, of some of the darker energies that we've all been experiencing as of late. And it kind of puts us in a different demeanor, different mood, different attitude where we want to boss up, where we want to start taking action and making moves to break away from this old cycle, this trapped feeling that many of us have definitely been experiencing. We want major changes, but we didn't know where to start. And so the moon in Scorpio, of course, is very intense, very passionate, really hell bent on making some really intense changes in our physical realm. And Saturn is here to kind of support the seriousness that needs to take place. We have to focus on the structures that aren't so sound, that aren't so strong, that are definitely being rattled at this particular juncture. And from the illumination on where it is that some structures, some foundations aren't strong enough to kind of move forward and handle the weight of the new gold, the new visions, the new dreams, we're definitely pushing the boundaries with what needs to stay, what needs to go. We're starting to take a good look at what we could do differently, where it is that we have to kind of tap into a new willpower and discipline in order to create new routines, new structures, new foundations for ourselves, especially to house our new goals, new visions, new dreams upon. So the moon is then going to get into the boxing ring and square off with Mercury. Mercury rules over the mental plane, rules over information, communication, how it is that we express ourselves. Mercury is in Leo energy, the heart and soul of the Zodiac. A square is a tension point. It is conflict being illuminated because we have some growing pains going on. 
Emotionally speaking, the moon is very representative that we're holding on to grudges, onto anger, onto frustration. Mercury, of course, in alignment with the heart space, wants us to kind of let go of those particular weights and really push forward towards a new goal, new vision, new dream. So our heart space, the moon, and our head space, Mercury, they're not on the same page. They're attempting to get on the same page, but the space, the difference between the two is illuminating the gap. And that gap is very uncomfortable. It is a growing pain that has to take place in our inner realm before we can actually make moves and take action to make that change in our physical realm. The moon is then going to make a very tough interaction with Chiron. So Chiron being the wounded healer in Aries energy, this has everything to do with thyself. We've busted out this new version of self. We're testing the boundaries, the parameters of this new version of self. But of course, coming out of a square, we're already in a tension point and a conflict point. We're already aware of the resistance that we currently have to making some of the changes that we know that we need to make. This is pretty much just salt in the wound. This is where we start kind beating ourselves up breaking ourselves down so to speak we're really questioning this new version of self we're questioning our capabilities we're questioning whether or not we're even prepared to kind of take action and make moves in the way that we know that we have to make we sit in that energy for a couple of hours then the moon is going to try and beautiful interaction with the sun we love this first of all anytime the moon and the sun are coming together there's going to be an aha moment there's going to be an emotional awareness there's going to be an epiphany on what it is that we need what we want what we desire what we have to do what we have to pursue what we have to build what we have to create now again a trine means that we are working with like elements this is water on water action again cleansing us purifying us from the heaviness from the weight from the friction from the conflict that we just sat in we're building ourselves up we're realizing where it is that a new belief system new perspective of how it is that we are what it is that we want to do where it is that we're going from here is putting us in the best perspective the best mood the best attitude possible so this is going to kind of lift our spirits refresh our soul remind us of what it is that we want to kind of build and create in our lives and therefore illuminate an aha moment where it is that we can make changes and adjustments first to our emotions second to our mental plane third we can put it into action make moves in the physical realm the moon is then going to make an awkward interaction with that north node in aries energy so right now we're kind of out of pause we know that some changes need to be made we know that we have to kind of stabilize our emotional realm but we really don't know where it is that we're going from here and that's okay we may lose sight of the positivity of the silver linings briefly we are going to be focused a little bit more on where we're confused where it is that we see challenges and roadblocks instead of the green light go ahead but we are also kind of sitting in this let's call it analyzing mode we're trying to weigh out the variables, the options, the opportunities. And so that North Node is trying to get us on the right path, trying to get us to kind of go on this solo quest, on this solo mission. And right now, instead of seeing the growth, the space where we can move into this new path, we're just kind of standing still. Again, Scorpio energy being a fixed sign. We are a little bit resistant to the changes that we know that we need to make. And so instead of thinking too futuristically, we're kind of present kind of stuck in this present moment trying to figure out what we actually have power and control over in this present moment and not allow ourselves to get too ahead of ourselves and thinking about our futuristic goals dreams and visions we sit in that particular energy for a couple of hours the moon is now going to move into some oppositions okay so first off the moon is going to be sitting across from directly opposing uranus and mars now, again, yesterday we had this Mars and Uranus conjunction. It is a very powerful energy. It is the ripple effect of change, of rebellion, of liberation, of freedom, of anger. There is the collective stage showing us right now that particular energy. We will be sitting in it for, again, a couple of days, sometime, if we will. Uh, but the moon, kind of starting off with Uranus, we are not feeling good about 
what we're kind of observing. We're not feeling good about our current situation. We know that something is agitating us, something is fueling us to make a major change, to kind of pivot away from what it is that we have been doing, because obviously doing the same thing over and over again is the definition of insanity. And then when the moon opposes Mars, Mars rules over the Scorpio energy, co-rules with Pluto. This is another intensity where we're feeling restless. We're feeling that anger. We're feeling that agitation. Something is just eating away at us. It's not sitting right in our soul. And so again, there is this intensity that comes with the moon and Scorpio. It isn't supposed to feel good, but it is going to kind of push us into coming up with some resolutions to some of the issues. And emotionally speaking, we're just kind of, I'm going to say on edge. We're a little bit conflicted. We're a little bit riled up in all of the wrong ways. And that energy is very hard to keep in the physical body. We sit in that energy for approximately four hours. So that's going to be a little bit testy, I would say. Um, but around 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the moon is going to make a positive interaction with Chiron, the wounded healer. So whatever that friction, that tension is illuminating for us, whatever it is that we had to sit in, whatever it is that we're kind of, you know, mulling over, if you will, it is going to lead us to an aha moment. It is going to lead us to a revelation of something that we could do differently. It is going to lead us to change, to really kind of seeing ourselves from a different set of eyes, from a different perspective, from a different light. This is the new version of self, our higher self. Again, those heavier feelings, those heavier thoughts are the egoic programming. That is the survival programming. We do have the opportunity to rise up and rise above. And when we do align with the higher self, we're able to see different options, different opportunities that the egoic programming would never allow us to see. So we're kind of feeling good at this particular juncture. Now, 9.11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the moon is going to trine another beautiful interaction with Neptune, who, of course, is retrograde in his place of power in this Pisces energy. So we know that the moon is at the 29th degree of Scorpio energy because Neptune is at the 29th critical karmic degree of Pisces energy. This is a trine, which means that, again, water on water action, we're getting purified, we're getting cleansed from the heavier energies of the day, we're being renewed, refreshed in our soul, in our spirit, in our emotions, and we are hypersensitive. Neptune brings in the ability to align with our intuition, to really align with the new goal, new vision, a dream that our higher self is calling for us to actually pursue. And so although this is a very, let's call it refreshing type of energy, it is also putting us in a situation where a part of us really wants to trust our intuition, wants to trust that hopeful, wishful side. However, the egoic programming is also illuminating the real world. And the real world is a little bit dark, a little bit fugly at this particular juncture. So there is this element of kind of being torn. However, we are leaning more into our higher self perspective, the hopes, the wishes, the goals, the dreams for our higher self, for our future. 9 12 p.m this is when the moon is going to go void of course and again we lock into sagittarius energy at 9 26 p.m we love the transition into sag energy because sag energy is basically holding the torch it is the light at the end of the dark tunnel that is the scorpio energy we do shadow work when the moon is in scorpio we have a new truth a new perspective a new goal, a new vision, a new dream building in the Sag energy. So we kind of shift in that Sag energy and about an hour and a half later, we have the last aspect of the day, the moon in Sag, sextiling, beautiful interaction with Pluto, the great transformer himself, retrograde in this Aquarius energy. So this means that we are definitely pushing ourselves to dream the biggest dream possible, to really allow ourselves to move into La La Land, to really kind of tap into the hopes, the wishes, the dreams that our higher self has, not only for our own individual lives, but for the collective as well. This is a major shift in our mood, in our attitude, in our perspective, in our thoughts, and it is a great way to kind of close off this particular moon day.